Yeah. Uh, how are you doing? Good. Uh, congratulations on being inducted in the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate M that. Much deserved. Thank you. Uh, you've been coaching wrestling for a long time now. I know you, uh, you know, competed in high school and in college. And, right. Uh, you've really made your mark as coach, uh, right. first at the high school level, and now uh, continue on right. at the community college level. Uh, who is the person that probably had the greatest impact in your wrestling career? In my wrestling career, probably to start with is uh, my dad. And I can kind of tell you a real quick story is, uh, my dad basically was a football and track star, and so as a freshman, I was kind of tired of uh, being coached at the dinner table. Mm -hmm. So I went out and chose wrestling, which he knew nothing about. <laughs> and, and after that, my two younger brothers were involved with wrestling, but he ended up being very, very uh, knowledgeable in wrestling. So he was coaching me even then. So, oh, I yeah. saw him at everything yeah, you every, were at. He, yes. was a, he was a big fan for yeah, sure. Yes. Uh, did you have a wrestling idol growing up? Well, I think a lot of, a lot of people probably back in the time that was watching Dan Gable and, and right. his persistence of, of excellence. And so I think that was probably the person that I, I looked at at that mm -hmm. time. To kind of modeled yourself after. I tried to, the work ethic part. I thought, right. I thought uh, now that people call it embracing the grind, it's just basically <laughs> it's hard work is what that it was. It is, a absolutely. Yeah. Uh, what part of your personality can't, uh, do you think is the most uh, driving factor in, in your success as a coach? I think I, I really try to, and, and this is what I did at Lemoore as well as Chino and, and Royal Oak High School in Covina, you try to build a trust level and you try to build, build that trust and then and showing the kids how to work hard. And I think even it's getting more and more difficult now, but mm -hmm. I think back in those days, I think uh, the work ethic, uh, the hard work ethic was the biggest part of my personality, showing them that and then and building that trust. Yeah, and, and you were always, even as a coach, uh, uh, you were always at every tournament in the off season yes. and so forth, so. We had to make sure that those kids stayed in Lamore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely, I, I understand that. Uh, what is the most outstanding memory that you have in your career? It could be as a wrestler, it could be as a coach. Well, one of the, one of the things I was just talking to, to my wife about this, and, and probably the biggest memory that, I, that I've had over wrestling is what I've done at Lemoore High School. I mean, we, we spent 21 years developing a program and having, we had some home matches that were over 3,000 people at, mm -hmm. and especially against Hanford. You know, that, was a, that was some big, big matches that we had. Uh, and so, to me, the building of the program and, 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 and the buy-in of the city it was very exciting. It's been, a, it's been an exciting part. I think it's, for me to move up to Lemoore was probably one of the best things I've ever done. I met my wife there, so that was oh, a good yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. Good, good answer. Yeah, good answer. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. Uh, do you have uh, one single match or event that stands out in your mind more than others? As far as high school or when I was competing? or Could be. Either. Well, you know, what, what I, and this is going from Royal Oak High School to Mount San Antonio College to Cal State Florida. Uh, as, as you grow as a wrestler, there are people that you, that, uh, you end up, you know, faltering and, and losing to. And, and so every, every time I basically I had a list, every time I, I lost to somebody, I put them on a list and I tried mm -hmm. to beat them the next time right. out. And so some of the exciting things that I had, had going for is, is beating some of those guys and moving on from one le next level to the, the following mm -hmm. level. So uh, really, c the competition part was probably really exciting for me as far as just moving up and beating the, the, the kids and wrestlers that, uh, that I might not have beat earlier in, in my career. So it was kind of exciting. That okay, way. and now you, you kind of alluded to this before that uh, you got involved in wrestling because it was something that your dad right. didn't do. Right. But, but are there other factors that got you involved in Well, I, I think, you know, I, I was involved with football, I was involved with track. Uh, in high school, but wrestling was something I walked by uh, a wrestling room uh, my freshman year, and I was going to play C basketball. And somewhere between Leonard Musick and, and a guy named Carson, the coach at C basketball, they worked out that they were going to put me as a 98 pounder, and they figured mm -hmm. that that. So is that what you started out? It started at, at 98 okay. pounds, yes. Funny. Several several pounds ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> same with all of us. If you had the opportunity to start your career over again, would you change anything? I, you know, I, I thought about that question, and I, I, I don't think I, I, I love what I've done. Uh, starting out at Boys Republic as a teacher, going to Chino High School, mm -hmm. doing the things that I was at Royal Oak High School before that. No, there's, there, there, it was, a, there was a plan here, and uh, it was way above my pay grade. And basically, yeah. I, 
I, I definitely uh, wouldn't do anything differently. Yeah, you've had a great career. Yeah. I'm sure you learn something from each experience. Every, that, every experience. You know, built the, on what you did after that. Yes. What, what would you like uh, people to remember about Kent Olson? Well, I, I, I think the loyalty factor, I think that we go back to the trust and the loyalty. Uh, I, I really want people to know that, I, I, you know, when I wake up in the morning, I have a, a good heart and want to do good things. And that's, and that's kind of what, what I do. And I, I don't have any preconceived situations where uh, I, I just go in and, and we, we work and, and try to make everybody better. And I, that's, that's what I want people to remember. I think, uh, and just, the, just teaching good ethics and everything else is, is something that I want to leave, leave my kids with. And there's some of my kids are 51, 52 years old. Right, so, yeah. yeah. Well, I think you've done a good job of exactly what you said you wanted to, because yeah. that's always been my impression of well, it. Well, one of the things is coming up here to the Valley Central section, I, I wanted to leave the, uh, our area and come up to what I thought was going to be a challenge, the t toughest area in, in, the, in the mm -hmm. California. And I think I was, did a pretty good job as far as competing. So, Absolutely. Yeah. Well, it's good. Congratulations, Thank Kent, you. Uh, Thank you. for being inducted in the California Wrestling Hall. Thank you, Jeff. Uh,